the next thing I want to go through is to modify columns. So similar to personalizing a page, um, what you can do is here. Um, so for example, if I'm on the customer page, if I go back to the customers, And so if I'm at, and um, so basically, once I go back to the customers, I can actually see different things within the uh, application. So for example, I have the details, I have the attachments um, for a customer, for example, Trey Research in this case. Um, so you can see the customer statistics, you can see the balances. Um, but let's say I'm, I have a certain role that I'm not, I, I don't need access to actually see certain statistics within the application. I can actually remove these stack boxes is what they're called. Um, so if I go to the gears and I go to personalize, similar to what um, we were doing before with personalizing the page, I can actually personalize this list and I can either, I can remove this customer statistics so I don't have to see, I don't, I don't need access to it basically. Um, so I can hide this. And then once hidden, it'll actually, um, turn to the slash marks. And then once I actually click done, similar to what we saw before, it'll actually won't appear anymore. Um, another thing I can do is I can add a field. So in the customer list, there's a lot of available fields. So I click plus field. And so currently, actually, if I go into the card itself, I can keep the personalization on. And I go to plus field. And so we have a list of available fields here. So for example, if I want to see on the customer card, um, the number or the search name or the name too, so that the alternate name of the customer would be, I can go ahead and drag this onto the page right under name or under, under IC partner code. Um, so I can actually drag that right there. I can move this as well too. So currently what I can do is I can move this up. I can move that over there. And so when I can click, I can actually do that. And then I can, for example, if I wanted to remove the block feature from the, from the page, I can actually do that as well. I can hide that. And so now, what it does is it updates on the page and it updates on your personalization view. So if I go ahead and click done, it will save the changes on that card and for every card um, with each customer. So this is a very useful tool, um, personalization, and just basically change um, the ability to actually personalize your client, to change columns, to add columns, to remove columns. Um, and it's very useful within the application. Um, there's a lot of standard fields that sometimes they're not shown within the actual page, but you can actually personalize and add those columns as you need to.